Welcome to the Ever Faithful. We're going to give you a uh, little bit of a different view of uh, the vessel today uh, in the evening hours uh, at the Liberty Landing Marina. Uh, we're on high dock, slip number 20. And we wanted to do something a little bit different to give you some uh, idea of the location and some of the amenities and the warmth, the feeling of the vessel at night. So we're hoping that this is going to give you a little bit better idea of uh, what things look like in the evening. And we're hoping that you're going to enjoy this really nice Netflix uh, fire that we have. I want a couple of things to show you, which uh, are some add-on amenities, which is the new uh, ice maker, which makes 110 pounds of ice per day. Uh, helps feed the coolers, uh, which are up on the flybridge and also on the bow in the seating areas. Uh, but also wanted to show you a little bit of the, uh, the helm area and the navionics we have on board. Uh, it carries two 735 horsepower Detroit diesels that can be helmed from the lower bridge here or also from the upper fly bridge, uh, which has been uh, basically totally reworked as well. You can see there's some nice amenities of the burl wood, the oak, and some of the new additions, which is the Portuguese cork. And the beauty of this, guys, is that uh, this sail is actually a turnkey job, which means that basically everything that you see here, with the exception of my personal uh, artwork, will stay on the boat, which means the tables, the chairs, uh, all the furnishings, the lamps, um, the plates, the dishes, Pretty much all you would need to do really is just kind of um, bring your clothes and your toothbrush and you're good to go. So here we are on the flybridge. We've come up from the uh, helm station below uh, to the helm station up top. Um, this has a spectacular view of the southwestern tip of Manhattan plus Jersey City. And you can see Freedom Tower. You can see um, pretty much the entire skyline on, on a clear night. Also, if you look over to the right, you can see the Statue of Liberty, which is lit up. Uh, kind of hard to see sometimes, but it's there. And you've got 1,500 acres of parkland. If you're a pet owner, uh, runner, um, biker, great place to be. Uh, you do have the Marine Center, which is to the right there, and a couple of really nice restaurants that are close by with their walking distance, and um, also have some great view. The beauty of this is uh, the slip is paid for at the end of the season, which is in April 2021, and it's also available to the new owners if needed as you move forward for the next season. Very spacious. Uh, you do have some options for lighting sources that will give you, you know, some running lights as well. And uh, everything's in good shape. I'm, I'm afraid to say everything's covered and it's cold out here tonight. We're looking for a snowstorm coming, so I didn't unwrap. And then back down. So we're heading back down uh, into the main salon and the hill from the flybridge. And as I mentioned, we're getting ready to have a snowstorm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head down to the uh, kitchen, uh, the galley, uh, and the dining area. But I wanted to mention that this boat has a unique eight different uh, reverse AC and heating systems. And, you know, we keep it, or I keep it at a comfortably 71 degrees pretty much year-round. Um, 
in the real cold days, uh, once the water temp gets past about 40 degrees, then we kick on the Wabasto, which is the diesel heating system that heats the entire boat. Um, uh, it draws uh, from the, uh, a separate tank that's 345 gallons, and uh, it does a great job basically warming the entire boat. So, and we keep it nice and toasty. So the kitchen is an uh, open floor plan. Uh, it's been uh, completely refurbished and renovated. You've got solid surface Corian type countertops. Uh, you have sub-zero uh, refrigerator drawers. You have uh, freezer and and uh, refrigerator doors and freezers. As well, and down below, you do have the small refrigerator under counter, full size oven. You have uh, electric stove top for burner, and you also have a a uh, dishwasher. It's very hard to find uh, on about this size. Fisher Packle, very nice, does a great job. You have um, microwave. Uh, like I said, everything stays, so the uh, toaster oven, microwave, coffee pots, everything basically stays. You've got uh, New backsplash here, and uh, as you can see on the dining table, all of the plates, the dishes, the glasses, silverware, basically everything stays and remains with the boat. We can continue uh, down to the lower level. Uh, which is where the secondary guest bathroom is. And the guest room. This is the bathroom, complete, full bath, granite countertops, lots of tile, everywhere, easy to clean, brand new plumbing, I should mention, throughout this entire boat. Uh, renovated toilet in this bathroom. Washer and dryer. So you've got a, basically a full size washer and dryer. Does a great job. No issues there. And then right across is the guest room. Uh, double berth. Storage under the uh, starboard side. Water tank is actually under this berth here. And then you've got a big closet, pretty good sized closet for this size room with some storage space up behind it and down low. Uh, you have uh, cable TV, uh, Fios in every room in the boat actually. And next we're gonna go to the captain's quarters. This is a queen size bed, platform, have a uh, new cork that has been added, which is uh, adds to the soundproofing and also for insulation. And nice add to the aesthetics. Again, flat screen TV, all stays. And <laughs> sorry, yeah, nice mirrors. Sorry, can't be helped. So. <laughs> Uh, the beauty of the closets, and it goes all the way from left side to the right, all behind this, is it is all cedar lined and has tons of room. You could actually double pull it if you wanted to, but for me, I don't really need, need that much. So, then into the master bath. This, uh, this is a brand new toilet. Again, all new lines run uh, back about two and a half years ago. Uh, about almost three years, and uh, 
Still needs a little bit of uh, trim work, but for the most part, very functional. Nice size bathtub, which is kind of strange to see on a vessel again this size. And also shower. The uh, one of the unique aspects of this vessel is also it has the nice oak flooring with the walnut plugs. Uh, very unique. And as you notice, you've got panels in the floor here that raise up to be able to get to the engine rooms to allow you to stand up down there, work on the engines comfortably. And there are multiple panels in this salon or in the dining salon. Uh, also in the kitchen area and downstairs in the crew quarters, which we're headed down to the crew quarters now. And this has a small uh, double bunk bed berth and also uh, has a full bath. And this has also been, uh, this well has also been uh, refurbished. And it also has a bunk room, or not a bunk room, but a uh, closet, also cedar line here as well. And I keep all the storage, you know, vacuum cleaners, mops, brooms, things of that nature just to help clean with. And then you have a small area for your desk area and uh, projects. Secondary is uh, down into the uh, access again, secondary access to the um, engine room. Again, uh, just to mention you have a brand new water heater. Uh, we did replace the guest room reverse air cycle heating and air conditioning cycle uh, unit uh, back in October last year. Uh, so it's relatively new. And everything is working in good condition. So there you go. Um, I think the other thing that I just, a couple of things that I wanted to mention is the fact that, you know, uh, the community here is just fantastic. Um, we've got great friends. Lots of things going on the dock. Uh, you do have uh, two uh, parking spaces that are basically allotted to uh, to you here at the uh, uh, at the marina. Access to the owners' lounge um, and it's just and it's gated. Everything is gated. The parking lot to the uh, cars, your parking is gated and also gated down to uh, the boat dock, uh, docks itself. So that's basically it. I just wanted to get you a perspective of what it looks like from the vessel at night. And I have to tell you, uh, these are million dollar views. And it is an amazing lifestyle.